if I misled you or somebody else misled you. You don't know if I sent you information just to see if you should reshare it. You don't know if I gave you the correct name. You don't know if the situation is the truth or not. So quit. I mean, it's just nonsense. Stop inputting yourself in my life or trying to. I'm just going to delete and block you. Okay? I mean, spend your time on everybody else. Bravo! Thank you for your first gift, lovely. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, Heather, for the cheer you ups. Thank you for the hand heart. Kimberly, you're so sweet. Thank you for the love you. Saint, thank you, Southern Nis Sneak. Southern Nescue. Nescue. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kimberly, you got a magic miss. Thank you, Heather, you got a boosting glove. Thank you, Melissa, you got a stun hammer. No, oh, decline. Bye. People get on my nerves. It's like, my thing is, look, I, if I don't know you to trust you, how are you certain I'm going to tell you 100% sure, okay? Southern Nesk. I got you. I like that. How do you, know, you think I'm going to give you the correct information or even the wholehearted truth? Just because I know you for a short period of time. Um, and if the only information you have is the information I gave you and you haven't found anything since to validate or disprove what I told you, then just stop, because I know it's you. I know who, who I've told what to and who I haven't. So, um, you know, it ain't too hard to pinpoint who's on text-free numbers texting me. And, and I'll just say this. If it pertained to my child, especially with the Department of Children's Services being involved, I would know first. And uh, it, they'd have to petition me because, you know, that's my child. So continue with your BS. You just want me to just lead on about something which I'm not. I'm not going to say if it's the truth or not. Um, you know, it, it, I have never said names. So if I gave you a name, how do you know what? it's certain? Like, how can you, until you can verify 100% certain that the name that you're saying is last name and information about that person and where that person is, supposedly, just, just, because it just shows me that you're infatuated with me, not the other way around. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy to me that you think because someone tells you something that it's trustworthy. Like, they can't set you up to see if you're a hater or, or give you false information the slightest bit to see if you turn and run and tell people. So... Until you have irrefutable proof, uh, don't be texting me. Um, message me on my number. I don't really, I don't really read my text on my on my thing. Okay? Yeah. Um, text me a, a name. Such and such is taking you to court over one of the children, but yet I ain't been informed, and it's a name that I've never verified or said. So, like I just said. I can lead you on without telling you the wholehearted truth to see if you are who you say you are or do, going to do what you say you're going to do. And you have never denied nor proved that what I said is the wholehearted truth. So, boo-boo, if you want to keep focusing on me and my life, so be it. 
You're just making my life be seen more, truthfully. So, thank you. While you sit in misery. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, 985. Uh, 98859. Uh, 985. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Somebody else's number come through, and I ain't gonna repeat that one because she's actually being nice. <laughs> Anywho, I just find it quite hilarious. <laughs> Weird, look up and somebody's digging herself out of a grave. Or something, it looks like a grave. You're not, you're not, you're not. Oh, love you too. Every time I try to make it on mine Every time I try to stay in the storm too And all those lonely roads that I travel There was Jesus
I really think I'm gonna go get it. I don't wanna go spend the money, but I think I'm gonna go get it because I think that it will help me get my business. Oops. Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay, can you start on game? <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Tennessee, what about yourself? Oh. What's wrong? <laughs> He's got some hitters over there, guys. He's got 12 wins. So I'm not here for the wins. I'm just here to have fun. So show some love on both sides. Thank you, Jen, for the roses. Thank you, Granny Sue, for the...
Thank you, Autumn, for the roses. Thank you, Jen, for my 708th little star baby. Two times the gifts, guys. Two times the gifts. We need 62 donuts. We need two donuts, and we will hit doubles. Two donuts. Two donuts, and we'll hit doubles, guys. Thank you, Miss Kathy, for the two donuts. We reached doubles. I really do appreciate you. Thank you, Autumn, for the donuts, sweet pea. Sorry I hadn't called you. It's been a whirlwind of emotions. And to be honest, the days drag, but they also fly by. So, like, I've been having to do a little bit of running the last few days. So, I've not been able to sit here and do what I want to make money. So, the day's been flying by. Thank you, Granny, for the donut. Ashley's life for the rose. The bitch with sass for the heart me. 708th little star baby. Ignore my language. Beautiful creations for the tiny dining. We got two times the gifts, guys. Two times the gifts. 45 seconds on two times the gifts. Thank you for the high bear, Heather. Thank you, Granny, for the roses. Thank you, Autumn, for the finger hearts. For the finger hearts. What is that? <clears throat> oh, I will. Yes, I will. Thank you, Christy, for the heart puff. Thank you, Ashley's life for the rose. Thank you, Heather, for the friendship necklace. The bitch with sass for the roses. Thank you, Angela, for the hand heart. Thank you for the roses. He's in the lead. He's in the lead. Thank you, Southern Sass, for the love you. Thank you, Julia, for the roses. The bitch with sass for the roses. Thank you for the TikTok, Christy. He's in the lead. 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 He's in a big lead. Thank you, Angela, for the confetti. <laughs> Thank you, Southern, for the roses. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the hanging lights, Angela. Thank you for the confetti, Angela. You guys are so sweet. You can let him have this one. Thank you, Southern, for the finger hearts. Thank you for the finger hearts. Good job. Good job. Good win. Good win. Thank you, Angela, the bitch with sass, Autumn, Kathy, uh, Heather, Granny, Michelle, Beautiful, Southern, and Ashley. Thank you. Good job. Good job. He was sweet. Bye. Yeah, I think there was like one person over there, truthfully. Makes me wonder if it was a significant other. Which I couldn't do that. I couldn't spend money just to win the battle. Now, I mean, if you got up in the ranks, maybe. But like, I don't know what you get from the ranks, so. 
aqui, né? Yeah, he does. Um, eh, no, yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, truly, it's, it's, the things that I told y'all is what is the truth. A house, and proved the kids did school work this year, and that's it. Um, as soon as we get a house, I mean, I don't agree with, we did a parenting class for 12 weeks, and it ended in October, and here we are in April having to do another parenting class, like, 
that was said last year in the meeting, but I really don't care, truthfully. But that's how long we gotta wait because of the parenting class. But I've already took one. It just this when I get a lawyer, this things may change. But right now, it's what we agreed to, which is fine by me. So all the other nonsense crap y'all heard is lies. Like there was no drugs involved, there was no neglect involved, there was no abuse involved. It solely stems from the hotel needing a permanent residence and the stalking the threats being made by them. So. Okay, I want just a second. I was looking for like something on the TV. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Just you can't just like tap it in. You gotta like scan it on your phone. And I don't want to do that. Natty had a little boy um, picking on her, like flirting. <laughs> she said. She said. She said. I got seven brothers. If you mess with me, if you mess with me, they're coming for you. <laughs> she's got six brothers, but I guess she's including that miscarriage as a brother. <laughs> he was. She said he was a Spanish little boy. Wouldn't stop leaving her alone. Just constant. <laughs> she said. I have seven brothers. If you mess with me, they'll be after you. <laughs> he didn't mess with her no more. And then I spoke to one of the foster parents last night, and he's like, he told the boys, he said, gosh, you look just like your mama. Because <laughs> y'all are just like your mama. Thank you. Um, I, I have a lawyer in mind, but I, I gotta call him uh, to get more of a price detail. So I'm not sure on price, but I'm gonna tell you for anything, it's gonna be at least 10,000 minimum um, because of this, like all that's went on. If it was just like a, a, a you know, a, a, a divorce case or something, it might not, but we've been told the minimum is 10 to 15. But I think I think it would be like 10 to 20 with everything, I'm pretty sure. But now, I don't know if I'm going to go that route or not. Right now, I just need the ex-family stopped. If we can get through all this stuff, you know, we'll see about other stuff later on. But right now, I'm more worried about the stalkers that are like doxing my address, threatening my life, following me everywhere I go. custody though lovely it's about it's against like the state doing wrong and against my harassers and my bullies and my stalkers that's who it's about so it's not just one case it's two um 
if I can get more people that have been wrong, like wrongfully taken um, or put in jail, he might do the case against certain people for free. Um, but right now, I'm more worried about, like, if my children weren't going to somebody I trust and we know is like, they're gonna just so enjoy being there. Like, no worry, no stress, no fear. It'll actually be somewhere like, like they went to just visit with that family for a little bit. I would be more persistent about the case against, you know, the higher ups. But because we're working with them and because it all worked out, um, I'm not really pushing for that one right this second. But if I can find people who can prove they've been wrongfully done, wrongfully convicted, wrongfully prosecuted, whatever, um, they will probably take it pro bono. So I'm kind of waiting on that case for other people. Um, because we need change, we do. Um, but if it had been like the people they initially had s selected for my children, yeah, I'd be like on here still saying, please donate if you can a dollar. Like I'm still doing that because a dollar could change my life. If, if 90,000 people sent a dollar today, all my issues would be solved. But I'm not like that, so I'm working for my stuff. Um, if people choose to donate, I, I can't thank them enough. But um, so, I'm really more persistent on the ha the harassers because if they don't stop, it's never gonna stop, you know. And and uh, my children won't be in they won't be safe. So they would still be in immediate danger. So because of the other people. So that's why I say that I need that taken care of first because those people aren't gonna stop. My children have been taken. I'm in a hotel a state away and they still harass me. So they still get online talking about me. And you know, people say, um, it's not, what's it called? It's not, say it's no stalking if it's the truth but it's not the truth y'all are showing other y'all are putting the truth and mingling it with your opinions and making it lies if you would just say the whole truth about me and stop different story but you're not so hey This is my song that I always played when the kids were being dropped off to their donor and I was stressed and worried about them being neglected and, you know, abused. Here's my, it's, this is my song that I've not played because I was listening to, you know, Christian music, but I love this song. I, I like this song. I'm not supposed to love anything without a heart, so um, I don't, I don't love it, but I like it a lot. Probably to me one of the best besides for that that song that everybody says the scammers use the fight song yeah i don't use that but um <laughs> but it's a different song there we go thank you jacqueline for following Miss Cindy for the roses. down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round and you don't find a fighter 
So we gon' walk it out. Ooh, 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 mountains. We gon' walk it out. Thank you for my 709th little star, baby. Yes and no. Nikki, Kevin's a felon. Most places don't want a felon to be on the property, especially low income. And truthfully, the children wouldn't be able to be outside in an apartment. So we're looking to settle for good, if not rent for about a year. So um, that's what we're doing. Uh, it ain't the, the housing we're in a national housing crisis. Like we are literally in a, in a housing crisis. So um, it's either location big enough or not affordable. But whatever y'all send me, we definitely, we check up with them and we, we message. Uh, there's one house we were interested in, but the guy wants us to send $125 to cash app without no guarantee that it's really for what he says, like a background check or, you know, the application fee. Um, he's got it listed online, but there's no, like, way to pay for that online. He says you got to cash app him, so I don't really know about that, you know? I don't want to waste $125 for nothing. So, 
Yeah, it does sound like a scam. And then another house that was posted, he supposedly has evicted them but not took them to court and they, they aren't moving. So it's been three weeks on that. That one would be the most perfect. It would be rent to own. It would be like ours. But it's got a large down payment. And like he asked me, he was like, was you wanting to put a part of the down payment on it now? I said, no, not before we see it. I learned my lesson the hard way. I ain't, I ain't paying for nothing till I drive it, till I walk through it, till I check the plumbing, till I check the AC, till I check the windows. I ain't, I ain't agreeing. I ain't, I ain't agreeing to So, um, I don't know how that well, how well, well that one's going to go either. But like I said, if me and Kevin could get our credit work, like, growing, we could probably get a house pretty easily with, with very little down. Because we're both about 30 points from being qualified from getting, he's qualified for a 200000 loan, and I'm qualified for the first time home homeowner grant. So, I'm trying to get, I, I, going to work towards as my business grows i'm going to work towards getting our credit worked on so while the kids are gone this next little bit if anybody would love to mentor me on the etsy which i've got one person already mentor mentor me on the etsy and the um i kind of know how to do the tiktok shop uh, i'm afraid my haters will cause me a lot of like warnings and flags but if they do i can always just shut my web shut my tiktok shop down and use my website and etsy so um and i'm a, i'm an amazon affiliate right now um i don't know what to do with that they said i didn't qualify for influencer yet i guess because my my page isn't big enough but um hoping to utilize all social media by the time my babies come back that way I can have multiple sources of income from multiple things, but my business be at the front of that. It be what's causing the drive is my business. Kevin's like, I really think you should focus on bows, Ashley. He said, I've been telling you forever that your bows were better than any bow I'd ever seen or bought. And you just didn't believe me. <laughs> That's what he said. You just didn't believe me. <laughs> like, we're a man. <laughs> Yeah, but I still bought for, for my daughter. Is that you? You don't gotta say yes or no. Text me if it's you. Makes me wanna cry. I'm gonna go get me go get me that laptop right quick so I can be working on my orders with you guys and getting them packaged so I can drop them off today when I go to town in a minute. Um, take it with me. I can work on it while I'm waiting on whatever we got to do today.
Hey beautiful, you know who I'm talking to, if it's you. Hey my beautiful, I miss so much, miss, miss y'all so much. Oh, I don't start crying. Hey, honey, thank you for following me, Britt. I appreciate that. Hello, Zoe. Welcome, Elle. Welcome, Denise. Thank you, Miss Joyce, for the rose. Good morning. Hello. Okay, okay. 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 off when I wasn't on here. <laughs> There's our little smiley bows we've been working on.
going to say this one time and one time only, okay? These little girls that I gave some fictitious information to are going around and saying some lies. So please ignore them, okay? Don't message me with the BS because unless they have last names, date of births, and information that pertains to certain people, then I'm not going to believe you because you could receive fictitious Okay, just, just stop with it. Stop wasting your time to message me. Because it's not going to do anything. And frankly, it's just showing me who's behind it even more. Because like I said, I only gave that fictitious information to a few people. And those few people are what's being repeated. So, uh, I know who you are. I know who you are. I know who you're pretending to not be. Like, I, I get, I get it. <laughs> just quit. Just quit. Alrighty. Just give it up. Give up the fact that you want to get to me and you can't. Give up the fact that you don't know about a certain situation and you just can't stand yourself not knowing. Okay? Give up the fact that you have nothing to do with the situation, even if you wanted to. So just quit and focus on your children because each of the girls I gave fictation information to all have children. And it's not very hard to know who you are. Okay? So, God bless y'all. God bless you that you don't have any time with your life to actually do things that are productive and make your life better. You have to sit and watch me all day. <laughs> and, and like I said, until you can validate something that's said to you, something that's said to you, all public knowledge, I mean, if you go get a tag for your car, your public knowledge, right there. You drive down the road every day with your information clearly displayed. If anybody has a tag reader or can read a tag or have a, a tag scan, they can know who you are. So, we're all public knowledge. Until you bring me more information than the information I gave, just... <laughs> so, you know, I'm not easily deceived. I used to be. Not anymore. So where I used to be like, oh my gosh, I'm upset. No, no, boo-boo, I'm not. <laughs> I'm laughing about it. Oh, these haters bringing up some fictitious name saying that he's going to take one of my children. <laughs> but no proof at all besides the fictitious information that I fed them. So it's like, you know, I could have set you up and you don't even realize it. <laughs> you have no clue what I told you is the truth or not. Until you bring evidence of that person that you think that person is and the truth, like the wholehearted truth, birthday, name, location, and you bring me the documentation of what you're saying is true, I know that you're, you're going off what I told you. <laughs> and that's hilarious to me. <laughs> oh, man. Like, you're trying to use my words to you against me. And you think that I'm not going to notice. <laughs> oh, me. Uh, it's, it's, in my, it's in my videos, lovely. God bless your soul. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, it's nonsense. It's like, oh, yeah, we know so much about you. I'm going to ruin your life. You're this, you're that. But yet bring no valid, no valid proof of anything different than what I said you. What? I didn't see your comment. I didn't see, I didn't see your message, lovely. I only saw the last message that you put. All right. 
I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Oh, shoot, that wasn't good. We're like, <clears throat> I don't care to say names. Elizabeth, Peyton, Stevie, um, and Lydia are a few people that I told some things to to see, and and we'll see because all they're sending me is the things I said, and it's just like, you want me to be upset about that? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> and like, focus on your own self. Focus on your own self. Stop focusing on other people. Alrighty, guys. I'll be back here in a minute. Um, I gotta do a few things. Uh, no, I didn't see it. All right, well, I don't know what I did with the keys. Right, well, right, well, right, well. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. Um, yes, hotel, and because of the haters stalking me and threatening my life, yes. Mainly because of the hotel, but, I mean, they, they knew about that, but, you know, it's mainly because of the hotel. Uh, even though there's a short-term rental stay in Tennessee that allows you to stay in a hotel for up to 180 days out of the year, including B&Bs, including etc. They had never told me to get two rooms. Natty had a blow-up mattress. The boys slept with, on one head of the foot, and then uh, Neyland slept with the foot of the other of the, their bed. So the three boys in one bed, Natty in her own bed, and then me and Trustin and Kevin in another bed. So yes, they're not supposed to be able to. But here's the reasoning. The reasoning is is because I have so many haters that drive by, like they've doxed my address. I was at a hotel in, in another county. They followed me and doxed it. I was at my grandmother's. They followed me to my grandmother's and harassed me and stalked me there and threatened me there and yelling and cursing at me there. So we chose to leave there. Then we came here and they followed me here and doxed me. Um, each time I've been to court, they've been at court watching my stuff. Each time I'm live, they're live talking about me a few hours later. So it was in, com in com combination with the fact of that we were staying in a hotel, it wasn't a permanent residence. And, um, and you know, I, I told y'all guys this, and I told the court this. You know, one of their agencies here that helps with homelessness and a bunch of different things, they were going to help me get like pay the deposit and pay like pay the. Um, pay the bill deposits like electricity and water well she called me up and asked me to come there and I was like okay this got to be good news because I was so excited that I would have help not to stress about it as much and she's like Ashley I'm so sorry I talked to the head person that like made this organization and she said that you're not considered homeless in Tennessee unless you're sleeping in your car or on the ground that it's a federal offense to sleep outside now it's homelessness is a federal offense as long as you're outside so what I told you guys is you guys better worry because if you come to Tennessee and visit for longer than seven days Which we're one of the most we're one of the number one states for vacationers That's why Tennessee went ahead and took the lead on allowing people to stay in a hotel for up to 180 days out of the year If they'll take my children for seven days you should be worried and I would not come to the state of Tennessee because if anybody likes you and they consistently call on you on your way to Tennessee and then let's say they they gather some people around that know you also and they call they can come take your children so that was show the children did homework schoolwork this year and get a permanent house my children never slept on the ground they never slept in the car not one day uh, we paid $600 for a hotel a week. That's more than what I paid for the house I was in. I paid $450 for the house I was in, $150 for electricity, uh, $50 to $100 for water, $200 for internet, 
I mean, it's more here than it was at my house. And the house had problems, like major problems that wasn't healthy for my children. But I'll be back in a minute, guys. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Give me 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes.